hi hello welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Quisha on this channel I like to do makeup mukbangs and more y'all today is a mukbang day I have burgers on deck homemade burgers and fries y'all know we in quarantine times so I made my own food today I am starving so I basically have these are two lean ground beef burgers you know we're keeping it lean we got some light mayo, pepperoncini peppers, lettuce. On this one, I have sharp cheddar cheese. And on this one, I have gouda cheese. And right in the middle, we have some seasoned wedge fries. Over here, I have some Chick-fil-A herb ranch dressing. And then back here, I got some bold and spicy barbecue sauce. To drink, I have a nice sparkling water. This is watermelon lime. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Y'all know I'm hungry. Y'all know I'm hungry. Y'all know me. Let's have a little fry here real quick, a little fry dip. Mm-hmm. Y'all was good with popping. How y'all doing, y'all all right? Y'all, I'm good. Look how big these burgers are. <laughs> I went playing today. Y'all, I went playing. So this is the sharp cheddar. Look at the jewelses. They dripping down. Mm. I need napkins. Hold on. So y'all good? Y'all doing cute? Are y'all staying indoors? Please stay inside, y'all. Keep y'all ass in the house. I tried to shoot for a nice medium well. They're closer to the well side, but that's okay. Mmm. Yeah, I don't eat ketchup. <laughs> so. Barbecue, barbecue sauce is the closest thing I get. I know it has ketchup in it, so you know, close enough. But I don't like regular ketchup. <laughs> I don't like the smell. I don't like it. Y'all, this food is so good. So this is the Gouda cheese. Let me get a little bite of this Gouda. Mm. What is your favorite type of cheese? Mmm. The gouda hit him. At least two is the gouda. Mm -hmm. The gouda got it going on, y'all. So this mukbang background looks a little different. I know my wall looks bare. You don't see my window in the background anymore. I'm switching my room around so my setup's gonna look a little bit different this is a work in progress so behind me you're gonna see pictures and shelves and all that kind of stuff but you know during the quarantine we're not allowed to do non-essential shopping so i can't really go to home goods and stuff like that to get shelves i went to ikea and i got a couple of shelves before everything started happening so i have a couple of shelves but as far as wall art and all that kind of stuff you're gonna slowly see it being built up you know you have to do stuff according to amazon they're shipping stuff whenever and i have prime but i understand getting stuff out to people that need it more you know essential supplies medical supplies and stuff like that go ahead i can wait another day or two for my wall art you know what i mean the thing that i've learned during this time is you you're starting to find out who's really like selfish We got people act, out here acting like, acting like it's killing them to stay in the house. Get a hobby. Learn to read. Learn a new language. Improve your inner self. Meditate. I am missing a nail. I was too hungry to glue it back on. <laughs> I understand people that like have to be outdoors and that kind of stuff. You can still take walks and stuff. You can still go outside. You just can't be around large groups of people. 
I don't know. That's just like not hard to me at all. Mmm. Yo, these seasoned wedge fries are the great value Walmart brand. These bitches rip. All right, Walmart, come through. If me staying indoors is going to save thousands of lives, then I'm going to do it, of course. I'll do it anyway. You know, I'm one of those people that is a, it's not a thing to me to stay in the house. For people out here still going to social gatherings and stuff, it's like, stop doing that. You're making it worse. We're trying to get ahead of the curve. I'm trying to just eat this one because the good is. So let me take this cheddar bite. Mm -hmm. Now another thing set these burgers off is these peppers in here. I have you extra on my plate. Pepperoncini peppers. Set it off. They do a great job of adding that tangy flair that you need. Mm. And I seasoned these burgers with salt and pepper, garlic salt, this Montreal steak seasoning that I have. It just helps bring out the flavor in beef. You don't just have to use it on steak. And then I did a little bit of lemon pepper just for a little extra tang. A little extra, little spritz, spritz. <laughs> and it's good. I do apologize for the footage in my last sushi video. I realized that the sushi was um, very blurry. Hmm. And so I just recently got a new camera. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure it out. I ordered a new lens for it, so that should be coming in a couple of days. Just like slowly trying to make things better. You know, a paycheck at a time. Y'all know. I don't want to say I'm starting to get full, but I kind of am, y'all. I feel like I kind of went in on this like real fast. Well, I will be eating this later. This is going to be like my meal of the day. I'm going to keep going for a few more bites. Mm. This burger is so good. It's definitely the cheese. Because I made both of those in the exact same pan. Yeah, they cook together. The cheese makes a huge difference. My sister is, she's a nurse. She's really out here putting her life on the line, going into work every day, being around sick people. It's truly such a selfless job. I could not do it. I'm telling you right now. And now we're, you know, showing our respect to other people. Those that are at the drive through lines at the drive through Those that are at the pharmacy being available so you can go get your prescriptions. People restocking grocery store shelves. Just any person that is just there for you when you need to go run and get your little things here and there. These people, first of all, especially the grocery store people and the drive through they need a bump in pay for this time period. Food service industry. I mean, if you do Uber Eats, I do. I bumped up my tip amount. Tip your drivers a little extra. Make sure when you're in these 
grocery stores and you see these people stocking these shelves that you say thank you be grateful be kind to others when i went to go get toilet paper last week i was actually very surprised by how respectful everybody was being people were literally only getting one thing of toilet paper one thing of paper towels there was nobody being greedy and get you could definitely do that but i think the limit was probably like two or whatever but nobody was doing two everybody was doing one and one and it's just like you got to come together as a community and you have to realize like why are we freaking out about toilet paper there was no need to get that much toilet paper the thing about this is you are really seeing how inconsiderate a lot of people are during this time and it's just so depressing we are supposed to be all in this together but we are clearly not and there's just some people that are just in their heart greedy and this is showing a lot of true colors <laughs> like right now if we were all to behave in a uni in a uniform manner there would still be plenty of supplies for everybody you could go to the grocery store and get what you needed and probably wouldn't have to go back out for another two weeks It shouldn't be like that. But you can't teach that to everybody. But if for every one of those people that were not just looking out for themselves, there would be no shortage of toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper, of all things. It's so crazy. How about you stock up on things that are going to help your immune system? Get some vitamins. be resourceful one thing that i have not seen a shortage of is feminine wipes so go to your local walmart target wherever get you some feminine wipes and you can use that don't flush those but you can use those to clean up and they work for all genders get tissues kleenex stuff like that you can use those and just do that There's just so many people out here lacking common sense and respect for other human beings. It just makes me so sad. That's what they're doing, y'all. That's what they do. <sighs> y'all, I'm starting to get full, full. This is going to be my meal for later. My food is not going to waste. No, ma'am. Not in times like these. I will go ahead and finish this burger. I have about this much left. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this burger. This was the one with the Gouda cheese. This one was very good. The sharp cheddar was cool or whatever, but not that Gouda. That Gouda hit different. Oh, y'all peep the highlight? Oh, god damn man. Highlight brought to you by Fenty Beauty. I am starting to get full, y'all. For real, for real, for real. And you know what? I'm up back in tab. I'm supposed to wash my hair today. Oh, my God. Y'all, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do uh, I might take a little nap and wake up in the nighttime <laughs> and do it in the middle of the night because maybe right about now. So whatever. These peppers. Oh, my God. I don't know if it's getting done. I'm gonna finish it up here on a lot of y'all like that. Alright, last bite. Sorry, that was an ugly bite. I don't want all that bread, y'all. I am trying to stay somewhat healthy. <laughs> somewhat. This was really good. Nothing like a homemade meal, you know? If you were with me for makeup and mimosas, you know why I'm like this. I didn't drink the whole bottle this time. I had help. I'll put it up in the card above. 
wherever the car goes. Thank you so much for eating with me. Tell me, what are you eating today during this quarantine? How are you dealing with staying indoors? Are you actually doing it and are you encouraging others to do it as well? Give me tips and advice for stocking up on things or how do you feel about the whole stocking up process? Let me know. If you like this video, if you had a good time, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, I talk back, share this video with everybody that you know, everybody that you think would like eating videos. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.